participate in communion now, uh, which is basically uh, a chance for us to continue to reflect uh, on the blood and the body of Jesus and to uh, remember to remember um, what he did, what he did for us. <clears throat> uh, on that Thursday night, uh, Jesus said to them, to his disciples, I've earnestly desired to eat Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup and he gave thanks. So join me in praying. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we come before you, um, a giant mess of people uh, who even struggle in our attempts <laughs> to focus on you, to stay focused on the immensity of your sacrifice for us. And so not only do we sin in all other places of our lives, but even as I picture that mob um, begging for your crucifixion, uh, we sin at the very act, even as we watch you be the innocent sacrifice for our sins. So I pray, Lord, that you would tonight in us um, help us to, in a deeper way, in a fresher way, by your spirit, see our own sinfulness, um, like John Stott said, that, that before we, we view the cross as something done for us, we have to see it as done, something done by us. And I pray also, Lord, that you would help us to see the glory in your gift to us and the glory in communing or participating with you in that gift, that we have the opportunity, like you did for us, to lay down our lives for others. And that coming to a Good Friday service with um, music and emotions and this sort of thing would not be an end to itself, that we would not seek just an emotional high, but that we would be transformed to be the kind of people who are not just impressed by you, but are living as much as we can like you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. And when he had given thanks, he said, take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Go ahead and take and drink. And he took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it. <clears throat> Let's pray again. Heavenly Father, um, I thank you for your body. I thank you that in the story of the gospel of Jesus, we see that God was not content to let his creation uh, destroy itself over and over and over again. And so you wrote yourself into the story that Jesus, uh, eternal God, put on flesh. He jumped into a, a body and came into this earth for a great rescue mission. I thank you that Christ showed us how to live, how to be human in the most beautiful, um, brilliant, loving, and good way possible. 
And I thank you that he showed us uh, what love looks like. And that love looks like um, suffering alone. That love looks like sweating drops of blood in a garden. That love looks like uh, being silent and yielding control to sinful people when he could have taken up control. I thank you that love looks vulnerable. It looks like Jesus uh, with his arms spread wide, hardly any clothes on, uh, hanging on a cross, asking his father to forgive the people who were killing him. And again, I pray, Lord, that we would not just enjoy the benefits of what Christ has done for us, but that we would be so moved and so impressed by who he was who he is, that we would use our bodies um, to then also be a living sacrifice uh, for your glory and also for our good. I pray for every person in here who's about to receive this, this bread, that they would literally see Jesus as the bread of life, that he would be the sustenance that would allow them in this world, in this time, in this place, uh, to go forward in a way that brings you great, great glory because it points to Jesus. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, and he took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Take the bread.